And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Omniscience Draft. Uh, let me get this thing off. There we go. Off the screen so you can read that better. This is our second one of these. We did one yesterday and it was a ton of fun. So we're going to try it again today. Our deck yesterday was awesome. I, I'm not sure if we're going to draft as good of a deck, but we're, we will see here. So just to kind of do the um, TLDR about what Omniscience Draft is, this is where we're going to be uh, drafting three packs, making a 40-card deck, and all of our spells cost zero mana. So everything is free. So having cards that draw cards are extremely valuable because you want to be able to just kind of draw through your deck if you can and play as many creatures as you can right away because everything's free and then hope things work out. That's kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. Again, I explained this a whole lot better the last uh, time that we did, or yesterday's draft. If you missed if you missed yesterday's draft, hope you watched that one too. Um, where's the break even for counting for gems for this thing? Um, it's it's way up there. Um, it costs what 650 gems. 550 i don't know i think it's like i think it costs 750 gems so if you don't count packs at all five and three you do not or yeah you don't break even at you know you have to go five and two to get here so you have to go six and two you have to win 75 percent of your matches you have to go six and two and then you get more gems you get 100 more gems so if you don't count packs at all so it's very tough okay anyway i guess we're just taking night pack ambusher this pack is pretty bad. Um, this pack's pretty bad. I do like Portal of Sanctuary with Risen Reef. That card's cool. But getting a bunch of Risen Reefs is tough. We got two Risen Reefs last time, which was really lucky. Um, I think I'm just going to be taking the, the Ambusher. There's nothing here that says draw a card, which I would take anything that says draw a card over the Ambusher. But there's nothing that says draw a card. So, yeah. I don't even, like, Ambusher's not even good because we're going to have to play stuff during our turn. It's just a 4-mana four 4-4. Four four. I mean, so it's just a free 4-4. Four four. I mean, I guess this this dragon, is this better? I don't know. You get treasure tokens. Yeah, negate is fine. Also, negate can counter just a card draw spell, basically. This is a really bad pack. I'll just take the rare. That thing can make three threes if we don't play stuff. Oh, man. See, like, both of these, like, Anticipate's awesome. We never saw Anticipate last time. I love Anticipate, but Bone to Ash is amazing also. These are these are two cards I would have definitely taken over Ambusher. I think I'm just gonna take the Bone to Ash though. Counter creature draw card. It's a good two for one. You think I should take Anticipate? Anticipate's awesome too. And like there's the thing about this format is you do have like some cards that are just like really, really good, and Anticipate can help you find those. It's a tough call. Like both of these are good. I really like both of them. You think Anticipate may wheel with the drafting algorithm? Yeah, which one has a better chance of wheeling? Yeah, card draw is very important in this. This is, you know, card selection. This counters and draw card. Like, they're both awesome. There's nothing wrong with either one. All right, I'm going to take the Anticipate. Because, yeah, and... Because if you have things like, like there's like a divination effects, like winged words and stuff, if you, if you can, like the more anticipates you have, the more you can find like some really impactful cards. Yes, wheel means the card comes back and it goes around the table and nobody takes it. Veil of Summer is probably pretty broken in this format. Everybody's playing blue cards. Everybody's playing counter magic and card draw and all that kind of stuff. Like, this is going to cycle. At the very worst, it cycles. All 
All right, I see an anticipate, and I see a big cat in my way. Move the cat. All right, looks, yep, looks like anticipate. All right, and bone to ash. Counter spell, draw a card. Counter creature spell. Oh, a bad pack, bad pack. Um, looks like I'm going with the fire elemental. It's just the biggest creature. ETB deals damage to target opponent players equal to the number of creatures you control. Oh, that thing costs five. I thought that thing cost three. And I was like, that's not a bad card for Constructed. Like, why Why have I never seen this? But never mind, it costs five. Um, still. Make, like, Abzan tokens go really wide. Boom. This thing. I should have never even seen this card before. All right, I think Fire Elemental is what I'm going with here. We're going to need a few creatures. All right, so there is, like, mind, when you're on the play, Mind Rot is amazing. The thing is, is drawing Mind Rot later on in the game is pretty bad. Because <clears throat> both players just empty their hands for the most part right away. I'm going to take the thing that says draw a card over it. And so I'm going to take the Blade Brand. All right, so Kelden Raiders, ETB... Gets to disc gets gets to loot. I like that. Um, or it rummages, I guess. I do like that. Uh, we haven't seen yet. So so this is this is pack one again now. So this portal of sanctuary wield. Which I could, you know, keep returning the Kelden Raider. And then Bone Dash, it wheeled. Yep. Bone Dash did wheel. All right. Good, 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 good. Ugh. All right. We'll take Duress, I guess. Rather have Duress on the play than on the draw. So you take 45 cards, you get usually get thrown three lands, you know, at least two or three lands. You only get, you have to play almost everything that you draft. You only can put back anywhere from two to five cards, however many spells. So like basically, we <laughs> there's a good chance we're playing one of these because you just kind of have to. Heal of the Glade would, would uh, be good if we find a Risen Reef. Maniacal Rage could be like we can put that on our opponent's creatures. So they can't block ours. Or there is some good ETB enchantment draw. Yeah, um, there's the the green one, uh, Season of Growth, and plus giving your creature plus two plus two. Maybe that helps you get through in combat. Guess hardcover. Our creatures at tap. Oh, y'all are taking the healer. I mean, I guess if I have more of these undead servants, I mean, this, yeah, I can like give my creatures flying because, like, basically this ability costs nothing. So I can just give, I can give my, what? Well, I can do this once a turn. So I can give one creature flying a turn. I don't think that's that val valuable. Man, another bad pack. Wow, this pack's horrible. I have to take two cards from this pack. I have to take one now and then one whenever it comes back. I don't want any of these. There's literally nothing in here that I want. I mean, I could, I could take Leyline to help out Ambusher, I guess. What do you do? ETB exile make a two, two so it's a three three and a two two. Do 
<laughs> Tectonic Rift. Oh, jeez. Has anybody seen anything that's that's remotely that's good? That's any good? Or do I just take the air elemental, I guess? I already like our deck yesterday a lot more. Yeah, Boneclad Necromancer is two creatures in one, but wouldn't you rather have a 4-4 flyer than a 3-3 and a 2-2? Wait, do I have... Oh, I have this thing that bounces? So I have this thing that bounces that could keep on bouncing Boneclad to make more creatures. All right, we'll go, we'll go Boneclad then. Why are our packs so bad? Why are the packs so bad? Where's all the things that draw cards? Like, just where's all, like, the blade brands? You know? Like, these things. They're just crabby cards that just say draw a card on them. Yeah, it needs stuff in the graveyard. We'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I guess this is an ETB scry 2 for the portal. Um, negate. Mind draw it again on turn 1. Can be awesome. So it's it's either negate, octo profit, or mind rot. Probably negate or mind rot. But yeah, those are those are the only three cards that I that I'm considering here. Hmm. It's has such high upside, but then it's so bad later on. I have the Kelden Raider. And I have this thing. So I have two ways to like draw and then discard later. Alright, I'm gonna go with the high upside play of Mind Rot, because my deck my deck's pretty bad to be honest. This is a pretty bad pretty bad deck so far, so we're going to go ahead and go for the high upside. Siegebreaker is not bad, but we're taking Bone Dash. Wow. Can we just can we just have like our deck from yesterday? <laughs> can we just have our deck from yesterday. Well, I'm just gonna take the big death touch creature. Six mana. Bleh. Mm. All right, negate. Ooh, thought distortion is another really high upside play, but it can be bad. But it has such high upside. Yeah, you have you have access to the five mana on both turns, on your turn and your opponent's turn. Hey, finally we get something that says draw a card. Finally, we get these crappy cards that say draw a card. It was only pick seven. It's only just the last pack, the last pick in this this wheel here. Definitely taking the angelic gift because we can bounce angelic the creature with angelic gift with the portal. Um, no, you get the mana during your opponent's turn as well. Yeah, we're gonna need a whole lot of good stuff from this pack three. Take another portal. I 
have a plan. Kind of. Not really, though. Ooh, a spectral sailor. Yeah, that would be good. Um, I guess act of treason. Jeez, these are not playable. <laughs> Take a 3-2 flyer or a vial of dragon fire. That rhymes. 3-2 flyer, vial of dragon fire. Uh, is Mu Yanling good? Return three creatures to their owner's hand. That's not very good. <laughs> Draw a card if you have five or more lands. Nope. That's not very good. I mean, I guess nothing else in this nothing else in this pack's any good. So I guess we're going Mu Yanling. Yeah. Many have challenged me over the ages. None have prevailed. In a while now. Okay, Angelic Gift draws a card, but so does Bone Dash. Let's just let's just stick with these Bone Dashes. Counter creatures draw cards. Can't go wrong there. Um. Mm, I thought this was Angelic Gift. I was excited. I guess this thing that loots or that rummages. We're going to have a lot of bad cards to rummage away. Wow, our deck's going to be so bad. Our deck's gonna be real bad. All right, draw a card. Why don't I take the four drop two three green? I don't. I guess I don't know what that card does. I don't know what card you're referring to before. I mean, I'm sure that was a few picks ago. So it's either just take a 6-5 Menace, which is pretty big and everything, or get this other, start getting like these Sadro Den Denizens and try to mill our opponent. This card? This card's, yeah, this card doesn't do anything. Six mana, we, you don't have six mana. So this, this a 2-4 a with no text is worse than a 5-4 with no text or a 6-5 with Menace. This this card is horrible. Um I kinda wanna take this because I but it's it's probably better to take the huge creature. Nah. Let's just take the Denison. I think there. I think we may have another Denison come back to us. All right. Well, Wolfkin Bond can be pretty good. I guess, relatively speaking. Draw a card. All right. So we are going to be at these. My deck's kind of built around these portals of, of sanctuaries. 
which is weird. Uh, I want this and this. Hmm. Try your best. Everything you can. Just get some crabs. Some defense. We're going mill plan. Oh, this deck's terrible. All right, what were those last cards we just took? Yeah, we're going to go four mill cards. Four of these mill cards, and we're going to try to bounce them. Inspiring Captain. Don't think I need man Maniacal Rage at all. Um... No, I'm going to keep the crabs. All right, is there anything worse than, than these cards? Oh, Zephyr Charge? No, nah, Miscreant. I don't know. Miscreant's, Miscreant's blue. It's a blue creature. So it triggers Sadro Denison. It's a blue creature. Blue creatures are, va are valuable. Smuggler out. Yeah. I mean, it's... I guess I guess the 3-3 three, three is better than the 2-2 two, two with Smuggler. I don't think I really need Zephyr Charge. I think I'll just take the 3-3 three, three over Zephyr Charge. Just hold the creature. So now, is, is Act of Treason better than Smuggler? Is it better to have the Act of Treason than a 2-2? It's just, I don't I don't really envision me killing my opponent too much. I mean, it's just a 2-2. Two -two. It's not very good, but whatever. We can, I mean, we're just going to try to add up 2-2s two and 2-2s two and extra 2-2s two and everything and have them combine to be other cards. All right, here's our deck. I think Act of Treason is better in a better deck. I don't I don't think Act of Treason is very good in my deck. Cuz I don't think my deck attacks very much. <laughs> yeah, we could Treason and then Portal basically make unsummon. I mean, they just replay their creature though for free. If we had hard better hard-hitting creatures, um, yeah, I would like, I would like it more. Oh man, my deck's bad. Yeah, we did. We have unblockable six fives. Rip off. <laughs> All right, hopefully we draw portal. No. All right, mill two. Mill plan is on. Oh man, they got a seven seven. So lucky. Oh, it has to be a creature card from a graveyard, not just any card. That's worse. A little combo deck. Um, do I hold this thing? Just... We usually get punished holding stuff. Yeah, this manifold key making their creatures unblockable, and my my plan in my deck is to to block. 
That's a that's a good good card here. Hey, space. Wait. They did something can't be blocked, right? Which one do they do can't be blocked? Oh, that one can't be blocked? Okay. I guess it doesn't let you do that. Well, that's cool. That kills me slower. Yeah, I mean, I think they should have just made the 6-5 unblockable and attacked me for 6 and held the 4-4 four, four back. And I'm just dead in 4 turns. And I can't do anything about it. Well, we're winning this race now. If, yeah, I don't know what they... They probably have something, right? Or not. We're doing it. Our deck's amazing. We went from the worst deck ever to the best deck ever. In just a series of turns and poor decisions by my opponent. But we're one top deck away from being the worst deck ever again. Okay. Ooh. So they can block the 5-4 and go to 1. Uh, there's probably some kind of board wipes in M20. Oh, I didn't. I don't have this thing back up. I forgot to put that back up. They said GG. Yeah. Yeah, is there like what, like planar cleansing? Planar cleansing's in M20. I don't know if there's any like common or uncommons. There's what, like Cry the Carnarium? No, that's not it. Flame Sweep? Flame Sweep in, a, in M20? Is it uncommon? So it feels so weird not seeing any lands. I know, right? Um, yeah, I guess this is my my deck. I didn't quite realize this thing doesn't trigger on itself, to be honest. I thought that Sadro's Denison triggered itself. I hadn't played this card since Gate Crash, and I kind of forgot that. 
Whoa. My opponent's playing the same deck. Mirror match. Anticipate's great. You get vigilance. Lame. What? Oh, what a bone to ash. What a bone to ash. Get rid of that risen reef. Well, I think it's a five five. Dang. Well, I think this thing can't, their creature can't untap, so I'm not going to attack into it. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I kind of, I honestly really thought there's no other things over there. I thought the Sage Road Desert would trigger on itself, and so I'd be able to like play at mill, like bounce at mill. But we just got to draw another one. We got a bunch of them. What was the point of Bouncing Feral? To have it back as a blocker? I can only activate that during my turn. It's like, we might as well activate it instead of not activating it. It's not like I can, like, hold it up during their turn. Alright, GG. Our deck's amazing. We had a really good hand there with the double Bone to Ash. You know, Bone to Ash on Risen Reef was amazing. Look at that, we're 2 0. <laughs> Best deck ever. <laughs> You're amazed this is winning. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it works out. You just got to play the games. See what happens. <laughs> That's such a good GG. Such a good GG emo with Hawkeye all happy. Speaking of Hawkeye, he's laying back there. There he is. He likes his fortress of blankets back there. This is when the wheels fall off for you. Okay. So we go first. We got a denison, a flying denison. We want to have two denisons plus a portal. Or double bone dash is really good. Two. 
don't even know what that thing does, but it's getting countered. It's a 4 or 5. Which does a lot of things. These creatures are ridiculous. Good thing I got all these bone dashes. What are these things? A 5-5 five five that makes two two twos? No, get out of here. Stop playing stuff. Ooh. Oh, we're doing it. A four or five flying death touch. Build your own Bane Slayer. Oh man, what if Legion's End would have hit Sajo Denison? Oh, that could have been so bad. I mean, if we draw a portal, like, drawing a portal would be incredible because we get to just bounce, all, like, the Sage Row with both of these. And then we get to, like, re, you know, replay it, mill four, and draw a card, and make a 2-2. Two -two. It's like drawing a portal means we get to mill them four, draw a card, make a 2-2 two -two every turn. No! Oh, soul sav salvage is savage. Soul Savage, more like it. Alright, make that thing lose flying. Oh, you have Reach? Uh, I forgot that. Yeah, yesterday, I hadn't seen this card before. Yeah, yesterday, I didn't realize that thing had Reach. And now I forgot it had Reach again. No. Uh Draw two and then discard one. Wow, that's soul salvage. I'm just not really used to to looking at giants like this and them having reach. Like is is there any other giant like this that has reach? I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't look like something that would have reach. Wanted, undead or alive. Challenge a raging river. Yeah, Tempsis, don't challenge a raging river. They have such good creatures. <laughs> have such bad creatures. Yeah, that giant won the game for sure. How close are they to milling out? They got 24 cards left? Alright, they're not very close to milling out.
Mm. I guess I could have done that in response to them casting this predator. And then I would have had the bone to ash for it. Ooh, Meteor Golem? Wow. That card's busted. Well, they're down to 19 cards. Boo. Boo. Opponent's playing so slow, too. Okay, just get out of here. Get out of here. I need my, my exile creature. You know, I have a couple of those. I have a couple of those black creatures that exile creatures. I need those. Man, that started so well for us, too, with triple... Um, bone to ash. But their hand was just better. That soul salvage. Alright, new new one here. Yeah, they had a lot better deck than I'd have. That's safe to say. How does everybody have this giant card? Giant card's busted. Ugh. Cloud Conceer is amazing in this format. I, I have never seen a Cloud Conceer. Like, in my two the two drafts, there hasn't been a Cloud Conceer in any pack, and that's just a common. Ooh, that's a good one. This would be a perfect time for a portal sanctuary. We'd bounce the fortress crab, replay it, mill four. Perfect time for a fortress sanctuary. All right, well, the gate's not the worst thing. They may have some spell that I don't want them to have, like a soul salvage. That's probably bad for me. That's probably bad for me. I should target their creature. I should be targeting their creature there. I want them to use a removal spell in response.
I have a couple anticipates. Darn. Oh, wow. Divination. Is it, divination's a common, right? Yeah, we just saw one of those last time, too. I'm jealous with our opponent. I mean, if I attacked with if I attacked last turn with my death touch three two, they're not blocking. Like they wouldn't block with either, so I would have dealt three damage. That's so more valuable to hold it back, or I can have the three two and the three three trade with the six five. There's no way my opponent would have blocked last turn. Oh yeah, into the story. Oh yeah, if you had if you had this format, into the story would just be insane. It's like more than an, an entire hand. That's what that card does. I don't know if that's been in, in any of my packs. I didn't know that card did that. Like, I didn't know this was just a vicious conquistador. Is it vicious? Whatever the. That conquistador. I mean, if you can drop, if you can draft a lot of foot foot soldiers, it's it's good. No, no, I wasn't thinking squadron hawk. But yeah, it is a squadron hawk. Yay. Prove your skill. Bow to the howling winds. Is it Vicious Conquistador? Is that the name of the card? Doesn't sound like that's the name of the card. All right, so that kills Mu Yanling. That's not six damage to me. This quest was a disappointment. Darn. Ugh. I hate how they don't let you do that because of whatever blocking bug there is. Legion Conquistador. There you go. That one. It's not too vicious. Rip. Yeah, I'm hoping for portal, but I mean, it's not like we're not going to like win the game if we draw portal. I feel like our opponents have a lot better deck than I have. Got back from Chili's. The appetizer dessert was good, but your burger was burnt. Oh, that's too bad. I like Chili's. I haven't been to Chili's in a super long time. I like Chili's. Let's have good food there.
The bone to ashes are definitely the best part of my deck. They're definitely the best parts of my deck. I'm kind of thinking of just saving the blade brand, honestly. Deck's good. So yeah, I was gonna see if they like played a blocker. They didn't play a blocker. So we're just using this here. I guess I should have done it last turn though. Rat row. Hmm. Do I discard the Boneclad Necromancer and draw a new card? Is like, is my random card better than a 3-3 in my deck? I think like on this battlefield, I don't think a 3-3 really helps us win. If they have something weird. Right? Or is that, that's just wrong. Eh. We turned it into a 5-4. I guess a 5-4 is better than a 3-3. Three, three. Well, it wouldn't... Uh, we wouldn't get the 2-2 two, two also. To get the 2-2, two, two, you have to exile a creature from a graveyard... There's no creatures in the graveyard to exile anymore, so it'd just be the 3-3. Three, three. If I would have if if it would be a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2, two, two, I would have kept it. But it was just a 3-3. Three, three. Yay! No, no, Matthew, that's not how the card works. I I would not get a 2-2 two -two with the, the card. The card would have just been a 3-3. Three -three. It could not make a token anymore. I don't I didn't have any creatures in my graveyard. There's no creatures in any graveyard. The card says to get the 2-2, two -two, you have to exile a creature from a graveyard. And there's no creatures in any graveyard for me to exile. Oh, you're saying wait? Oh, no, no, there's no way to, there's no reason to wait a turn because I'm killing my opponent that turn. There's playing creatures the next turn. That would just give, like, no, like, there's, yeah, there's no way I'm waiting because that, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Okay. That could be good for me.
All right, so each player discards their hand, then draw seven. This could get crazy. Got him. Thanks, Lexosaurus. This Dragon Mage is probably just good for me. Especially when I'm trying to mill my opponent out. That's fine. Yeah, you can put basic lands in your Ugin Brawl deck, of course. All right, now that's that's the Zephyr charge is definitely a problem. Give one of these things flying. That's definitely a problem. Can I survive a turn? I shouldn't target that thing. I still have a bunch of cards in hand. They just didn't even play these but reduced ashes. Huh. This is kind of tough. What do they have that are better than reduced ashes? They got to be spells over there. Like spells that are going to like maybe kill me this next turn. Yep, Act of Treasons. I think, like, this Dragon Mage may win me this game. That's awesome. 
My opponent does not realize what's going on in this game at all. So they can give they can give like this thing flying. Like I have to win this next turn. Yeah, that was a really good thought distortion. I'm glad I cast the mind drop first and saw them discard those two reduced to ashes. So then I knew that like that's it's like what they had kind of thing. But imagine if they untapped and they were just like reduce, reduce, active trees and active trees and yeah, that was gonna be rough. Yes. I was scared that they were just gonna attack with just the warlord and not attack with the Dragon Mage. I needed them to attack with the Dragon Mage. So they have 13 cards left. I mean, that's not even scary. Like, that card doesn't matter, but I should just cast my Bone Dashes. So four, six, so four, ten, sixteen. I get I can mill sixteen cards next turn. And they have thirteen in the library. I'm really glad they didn't kill the Sage Row Sage Row Denison before. I mean, they may have their own bone to ashes, but the portal, even if they do, the portal probably helps get me there. The Fortress Crab taking them down. Yay! It resolved! Fortress Crab! Woo! I thought they were going to have a removal spell in response, how they're looking at their hands. Oh man, this... Oh, this deck, we're getting lucky. My opponent did not realize my game plan there of milling them out. Um, they had, you know, like they had the ability to kill all, like both of my Sage Row Denizens, and therefore kill me. Like if my opponent understood what was going on there, we would have been dead. Well, I'm I'm glad we got four wins with this deck, because so our deck is really bad. <laughs> so I'm really glad that we we finagled our way to four wins, got a lot of our gems back. You never know. Maybe we'll get really lucky again and get a fifth win here. Yeah, tense ending. Yeah, yeah. That their dragon let me win. 
<laughs> you know, if they just don't, like, they're, if they don't attack with that dragon, I could not have possibly won. You know, it, it let them draw 14 cards and gave me enough gas to mill them out with the rest of them. All right, turn one to rest. Uh, take the bone dash. I guess I guess this counter is bone to ash, so maybe I should have taken reduce to ashes. I was just looking at the two cards, and bone to ash is a lot better. Um, so do I cycle veil? All right, so yeah, I, I took the wrong card. All right, let's just make, we'll just kind of move around game objects through some different zones here, because it's fun to do. Yeah, I could have Veil summoned that. No, I haven't seen any Spectral Sailors. army oh man if I draw a creature man good call with my opponent trading their 5-5 five, five death touch for my 5-4 no, they got two flyers I don't have flyers wolf tribal at least I have wolf tribal that's cool Unfortunately, they got elemental flying Boreal Druids. All right, have a good night, Billy. We're like, you know, build your own night pack ambusher, basically. get our own wolves it's kind of like we're not playing anything so we get a wolf at end step it's kind of like that all right well we finagled our way to four wins before picking up three losses so very good there we'll take that i was not expecting to get four wins with that deck Hey, we got two packs. Wasn't aren't you only supposed to get one pack? We had a thirty percent chance of that bonus pack. Sweet, that's probably about a thirty percent chance for winning four. All right, we'll we'll crack these open. I have all the rares, so if it's a rare, it's just going to be twenty gems. Help get us a couple more of the gems back. There we go. Hey, boo. Just finished up here. All right, so that's our omniscience draft. Um, if you want to see, so you know, if you're watching this later on YouTube, or even if you're watching this um, here in the channel, if you want to see a lot better omniscience draft, take a look at the one yesterday. That deck was better. We got we got our seven. You know, we we got to the seven win mark yesterday. Our deck was really sweet. Um, but you know, we'll maybe you know we'll see if we end up trying this again. Um, 
you know, if you're watching on YouTube, let me know how much you like these omniscience drafts and everything. They're they're fun to play. You know, like that's fun to, to do something a little different. Um, and th- th- I think they're here for just a limited time. They're probably here for the weekend. Um, you already got, f- yeah, this one getting four wins was, was basically a miracle there. Uh, we should not have gotten four wins. Anyway, that's an omniscience draft. A lot of fun. Um, and then one last time, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave some comments, please. I'd, l- I'd appreciate that. All right, that's it here, though, for the omniscience draft. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.